Hello and welcome to the second of Vokta Gaming's Carnage Specials. I am your host, the vocal terrorist, Jesse Rain, and we are here with the first game in a best of three between a Team Carnage player and a non-Team Carnage player. Maybe we should know them as the hero and the villain. Anyway, first up is our Team Carnage hero. He is a Terran player. His name is Jimmy. And opposing him today is the very evil Protoss player in the blue. His name is Randy. So, yeah, it is time for the second episode of the Carnage Specials. Because I am now listed on the staff page of the Team Carnage website as the official in-house caster. Oh, yeah. Moving up in the world, fellas. So I am recording all of these on my day off so that we don't interrupt the normal Vokta Gaming channels. Now, for those of you watching on Vokta Gaming, these will be cross-posted to the Carnage Esports TV YouTube channel. They will go up there first. They will have to go up there in parts to begin with. Uh, I'm going to have to break them down as I record them because uh, it's a brand new YouTube channel and you can't upload videos longer than 15 minutes and that's a massive pain in the ass. But that won't last long. And if you're watching on the Carnage Esports TV website, these are cross-posted to the youtube.com forward slash Vokta Gaming channel, where I also do other pro StarCraft 2 replays. While I'm here as well, may I advertise that www.scforum.eu is now back. That is right, we are reinvigorating the community, and I, once I figure out how the fuck Playhem works, am starting with the SC Forum Open Tournament. More details on that to follow in the coming days. Like, literally, as soon as I figure out why Playhem is broken for me, I will sort that. I may just do the tournament by hand this time. Anyway, we're going to watch Jimmy Scout now. Getting the vision up. Jimmy is one of the uh, Team Carnage players I do not personally know, but I have seen him play before, and he is a very, very strong Terran player. So, interesting forge first from Randy. Um, like, it's he's expanding, so it's not a cannon rush. Uh, I really don't know what the thinking behind that was. Um, I'm not too... I mean, I play Protoss, and uh, TVP is my favourite matchup. And I don't think I've ever seen the Forge first in it. And like, not even as a wall off or anything. So this is um, a strange build. We're going to follow it. We're going to see how it goes. Uh, it's certainly interesting. Jimmy, of course, is seeing absolutely everything. I'm going to call it Jimmy. I don't want to say Jimmy. Jimmy! Every time. So uh, he's just going to be Jimmy for now. And in the base, we can see three barracks going up. I've literally just recorded a video on Daybreak between MC and Bomber talking about how this bio needs to do damage so uh, I'm pretty well placed to uh, talk about this. I'll basically repeat what I said there. Bio Terran is a glass cannon build. You point it, you fire it and you damn well hope it does some damage because if it doesn't your entire plan falls apart. Basically, what Jimmy's going to need to do here, after he builds up this strong bio army, and trust me, it's going to be a strong bio army, he's going to have to push out, perhaps drop in the back of the main, like Bomber did, take out the Nexus, maybe take out the Forge, do some real damage to the probes, or push up into a third, because Randy will no doubt take a third, and come in and do a ton of damage here, perhaps take this base down. Basically, what you want to do is stop the Protoss from getting up his late game composition. His late game competition versus Terran, you're talking, you charge like Archon generally with high Templar support, is so, so powerful against the bio play, and I've yet to see anyone make mech work against Protoss. So really, that's the only way to go about it. You have to stop that composition getting up. If you don't, you are in a ton of trouble. So, we have more and more Marines coming out. There's not really a great deal happening at the moment. We have a few sentries going up in the base of Randy. Interestingly, he's not chrono boosting out the warp gate, nor is chrono boosting out the upgrade, so must be chrono boosting out probes. Yep, there we go. Just trying to get as ahead economically as he can. Now, a Twilight Council is going up at the back of the base, so this is quite early. It's probably too early for High Templars. So, you're either looking at some kind of Blink Stalker attack, 
or DTs. It could be charge lots. Uh, I'm not going to rule out charge lots because the late game composition for Protoss is generally charge lot Archon. He could just be wanting to get them early. He does have Protoss Grand Armor level 1 finishing up now, which suggests a Zealot heavy composition to me. But we shall see. We have more gas going up for Randy. We have Jimmy just building tons and tons of Marines. But holy crap, that is six gateways going up. So, this is... Wow. Yep, this is charge lots. Okay, he is going super... Is he going super early charge lot Archon? Like, is, is that the plan here? To get the late game composition up in like 14 minutes? Because that is incredible. That is a lovely scan from Jimmy. He sees that there is hardly any units at the front of this base, so and he sees a couple of gateways here, so he knows something is going on. Now the question is, how does he respond to this? He's nearly got stim, combat shields is on the way, infantry weapons level 1 is on the way, but plus 1 defense is already done. He's getting the starport up. Uh, the reactor going down on the factory will be for the starport, so he's going to be getting out double medivacs. There are no Colossi on the way, so he needs to go full on medevac at this point. Okay, Templar Archives. So yeah, that's Randy's plan basically. Randy's plan is to hit the late game composition as early as possible. He's getting up all these gateways to make nothing but Zealots and High Templars. It'll be interesting to see if he gets Storm as well with this. That's generally the way you see the top players play it. You get Psy Storm as well, you use the High Templar for their Storms, and then you morph them into Archons. And Jimmy now is just going to move out on the map. Take a little bit of map control. This probe though is going to come down. Scout that there's no third. And to be honest, I think Jimmy's going to be feeling good at this point. I'd like to see him take a third. Because of course we have Randy's third going up right now. And I'd like to see Jimmy stay in contention with that. I'd like to see him keep up with that number of bases. Because there's not a great deal going on. He's going to have to do some damage at some point as well. He's going to move out with these with the plus one attack. But... Plus two Grand Armour is already on the way. They already have plus one weapons. So, Randy has the upgrade advantage as well. And he's going to have Psy Storm. This could be a really poorly timed attack here for Jimmy. Jimmy is taking the third base. Okay, so what I want to see from this is pressure. If you can take down a base, excellent. But do not get yourself embroiled in a fight that you cannot extricate yourself from. Because right now, Randy has all the advantages. The only difference is in the supply right now. No, this is nice. Oh, he's going to pick off sentries. That's huge. That is absolutely huge. One sentry left now. If he'd have got that, that would have been incredible. But the first of the High Templar are out now. And Psystorm is very nearly done. So Jimmy's going to push up towards this third now. He's going to know the third's here. But that is going to be it now. Does Randy have enough to hold this off? I'm not too sure. Ah, uh, the factory doesn't land quick enough, so the charge lots are all getting in. This is nice kiting, though. Can he stay out of range of the Psy Storm from the High Templar? Psy Storm is done. They can definitely stop. Oh, and the storm goes down all over Jimmy's units. Wow, an absolutely money storm there. And Jimmy has to go and look at these units all in red. Damn. And that's what I was talking about. With the AoE versus the Bioterran, it is really, really hard to come at that. So he's getting more Marauders out now to help tank some of the Storms. And he's going to push back in. Now he's going to have to be careful with how he engages. He does not have Ghosts yet, although he is getting Mobius Reactor. There are no Ghosts in with this army. Man, Randy, trying to take a fourth base. This is a very early fourth base. I'm not too sure he can hold it. It was a, definitely a nice attempt to do so, though, after that wonderful money storm. And in fact, it looks like he may do it. Nice kiting on these charge lots, though, forcing them to waste their charge. We have an Archon on the way. The first of our Archons. And now Jimmy's reinforcements arrive. The Archon, in fact, it looks like he's going to escape unless Jimmy stims again. And I'm not sure that's a wise idea because his units are so low on health. Let's take a look. Yeah, man, those units are dying. He stims again anyway. He's trying to do damage, but the Zealots do a ton of damage, and they're tanking it all. So the High Templar comes in again if he gets another storm off, man. Oh, ho, ho, all of those Marauders and Marines dying. Jimmy, though, is just holding on, but more Zealots come in. He barely has enough to stim. 
the Medivacs have no energy left and they go down. So Randy is going to secure that fourth base. And now Jimmy is super far behind. He hasn't done the damage he needs to do. And Randy is now a base ahead. This is going to be tough. Now Jimmy is ramping up production. He's got so many barracks going down. But I just feel like he needs to do more. An armory is on the way. But that's just for upgrades. It's not going to help him super much. Obviously he needs to get those out. He needs to get ghosts out. Six more gateways and another forge going down for Randy though. So this is going to be super hard for Jimmy to hold. But a drop comes into the back of the base. Uh, it's not going to get much done. There were storms there waiting. And that medevac very nearly died. Oh, if he could have picked that off. One more stalker. Or a feedback even. He had the high templar. So that is a problem Randy had there. We have yet more barracks going down for Jimmy. Jimmy going up to about 400 barracks. He's going to try and plant down a fourth now. I'd imagine he'd plant that here since it's a good forward staging location. Perhaps morph it to a planetary fortress. Oh, and now a switch into Colossus from Randy. Now that is nice. He has the money to afford it at the moment. He has all the advantages here. But we have Jimmy with another little attack here at the back of the third. That was a nice attack. He managed to get in, do some damage, and escape. We have yet another drop going on. So this is the way for Jimmy to claw this back. To so just drop in and start taking down buildings. But man, that was not a well-controlled attack at all, I'm afraid. Got absolutely nothing. Realised he wasn't going to take the gateway down. Decided to try and take the pylons out, but that didn't work. Interestingly, Randy has forgotten to morph these to warp gates. That is uh, that is just poor play, and we have caught that on camera. The world has seen it now. We have chrono boosted upgrades coming out. We have the upgrade to shields coming out, interestingly, uh, rather than level 2 weapons. And we have Randy just getting up the exact composition he was after. It'll be interesting to see if he switches from this into Colossi. He definitely has the bases to support it. That much must be said. And then we have another command center going down. Wow, actually, Jimmy is just going to try taking the map. Because there's, if there's one thing Randy hasn't done, it's put any pressure on. He's defended fine, but he hasn't moved out on the map yet. And so Jimmy right now feels comfortable taking these bases uh, in the knowledge that he's not going to be attacked. So we have personal cloaking on the way. We have Terran ship weapons level 1, which implies he's going Vikings. Um, perhaps he saw... The Robo. Did he know about it? Um, now he's shooting his own ghost. That's not normal. Does he know about the Robo uh, support bay? No, he doesn't. Wow, actually, Jimmy's scouting very, very poor. Always check, by the way, the back of the base. Because this is where Protoss like to hide tech structures. So give that a scan just every once in a while when you've got the bases for it. And just see exactly what that Protoss is up to. Okay, so Randy is making the tech switch into Colossi. But we have three more starports going down and a fusion gun. Is he going battleship? Oh my god, is Jimmy going battleship? If Jimmy goes battleship, I'm just going to scream in happiness. I haven't seen battleship, battleships, battle cruisers, battle, battle. I've not even seen them in so long, I've forgotten what they're called. Battle cruisers, they're not even battleships, they're battle cruisers. And now Randy is finally going to come in for an attack. He's at 200, supply of 200. He's going to lose a load of units, but he's going to morph them. In a two Colossi very shortly. <clears throat> Sorry, replace them with Colossi rather. But the repaired planetary fortress does help hold that. Randy unable to do the damage. And now really nice snipes going down on all the high templar. No storms get off there at all. Oh, and a beautiful EMPs. Randy is in some trouble now. Wonderful hold by Jimmy there. See, again, that is the point I was making. Jimmy this time nullified the AOE and absolutely decimated Randy's army. Absolutely incredible moves there by Jimmy. And I like this. He's got a marine stationed here. He's got a marine stationed here. And a marine stationed here. So he's watching for Randy moving about the map and trying to take any other bases. Then we have ship weapons level 2 on the way along with infantry armor 3 and infantry weapons 3. Getting a second armory for those ship upgrades. So it looks like he wants to go heavy battle cruiser. I've not seen this versus a Protoss in my entire history as a commentator. This is going to be fun if he can get it up. If he can survive long enough for it. Now he's going to move up here, he's going to take out this pylon and take this base. Jimmy is just taking the map, man. <laughs> Probe's moving down now, going to take out this marine. 
Nice kiting there from Jimmy though, getting a kill when he probably shouldn't have. And the whole army moves down. Jimmy saves that marine's life. That marine is the happiest marine. But he doesn't kill this probe. Jimmy, man. Come on. Anyway, so we have the extended thermal lance on the way. Protoss shields level 2 on the way. Ground weapons level 3 on the way for the Protoss. Randy is about to hit basically full upgrades. He's going to have absolutely everything he wants. The question is, can he do anything with it? He needs a really good engagement. But Jimmy's holds so far have been absolutely excellent. And we have three battle cruisers on the way. That is a ton of colossi, though. And man, there are no Vikings just yet. And uh, this base isn't going to survive. Oh, but nice scout by Jimmy. Sees it coming, realizes he can't hold it, and just picks up and gets the hell out of there. Wonderful, wonderful move there by Jimmy. Now he sees the Colossae, he knows the Colossae are there. I imagine he expected them. I imagine that's why the switch to Battlecruiser Viking. Although I must admit they are pretty good against High Templar as well. Since uh, Battlecruisers are quite large units, you can't hit too many of them with a storm. And now we're getting the uh, the ship armor as well. Oh, we're getting Blink. Wow, did he not even have Blink? Uh, to be fair, he doesn't have that many stalkers. So uh, Randy, I think he's just getting Blink to get something. He's getting Stargate now. What the, We are going to see every possible tech out of both these two players soon. That's crazy. So that's going to be for Mothership. Like it was, He's got to be going Stargate, Fleet Beacon, Mothership. That's the only one, the only reason I can think of to get that with this army composition. We have Jimmy moving out on the map now at the 22 and a half minute mark. Jimmy, it looks like he's going to push out and try and do some damage. The battle cruisers are finishing up. We have yet more. Planetary Fortress is being made to help defend this location because Jimmy has so much money and I like to see that from players using up their money on static defenses if you can't use it on anything else. Yep, here comes the fleet beacon so we are going to have a mothership but Randy man, he's moving out. Oh, this is so tense. Fleet beacon going down in the main of Randy. Jimmy, Jimmy does not know about it. We have Vikings joining them. Let me just check, make sure he doesn't. Nope, Jimmy's still not scanned. It's just such a perfect place to scan, and you get to see all the tech. Like, I don't know why Terrans aren't scanning that more often. And we have personally cloaked ghosts coming in. They're going to hit up. <clears throat> Come on, hit the EMPs. I'm using snipes instead on a high Templar. But man, some EMPs there would have been really nice. You have the energy for it. Now, Jimmy is in a bit of trouble. This is a huge battle going on, though. We have the battle cruisers doing damage. The Vikings are taking down all the Colossus. Incredible. These Colossi do not stand a chance. The battle cruisers need to get out of there, though. You've got stalkers there. You've got blink stalkers underneath them. Jimmy, save your damn battle cruisers. He really wants to try and just kill this. But he just doesn't have the units. Like his, his bio units have moved back, and he's losing all his battle cruisers. Like. That is some poor control from Jimmy, I'm sorry. Now he's going to move out. He's going to lose all of his battle cruisers, though. And they take so long to build. They take so much money. I don't know why he didn't EMP. I don't know why he left the battle cruisers there to die. I'm really unsure of that. But he's still trying to do damage with this attack. But he doesn't have the units left now. These zealots are just going to surround them and pick them off one by one, as we see here. There's just not enough left to save them at this point. We have a ton of medevacs, but that's about it. And the Vikings, of course, not going to do anything to stalkers. So we have Randy having taken this lower, the bottom right base, because I know my left and my right. We've got a mothership on its way, I assume, from the main. No, perhaps. Uh, in the natural, we have the mothership coming. Could be used for cloak, could be used for vortex. Of course, with the archons. You do get that Archon Toilet, which is such a strong, strong move against any kind of unit. Obviously, uh, most seen in Protoss vs. Zerg against Broodlords. Jimmy has now fully secured this upper left base as well. And it seems like both players are just going to hold off until max supply again. We're getting high sec auto tracking. We're getting ship weapons level 3. We're getting three more star pots. And the ship plating level 2. This is incredible. I haven't seen a game like this in months. This is going to go all the way, and this is only game one. We have potentially two more games to come from this series yet. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is so much fun. We have planetary morphing. Not a lot really going on. Uh, Jimmy, are you watching? Oh, that observer's there. Can you see it? Can you see the shimmer? Jimmy doesn't. 
because if he did, he'd have scanned it and it would be dead right now. Two tech labs going down, that'll be on the starports. Just take a look at all these production structures for the Terran. Like, that is huge. I keep saying like today. I am just excited and I'm casting a ton today. I'm making four videos today for several different channels. Three um, and one. Is it four? Hang on. Yeah, because I've got... Oh, yeah, I've got best of the best as well. So, yeah, I'm making four videos today. Potentially five if this goes to a game three. Which I'm hoping it does and hoping it doesn't. I'm hoping it does because it's exciting games. I'm hoping it doesn't because I want Jimmy to smash Randy 2-0 because, man, I love Team Carnage. Not that I'm biased because who's biased, you know? We have Yamato Cannon on the way. We just have everything on the way. Protoss Shields level 3. So the Protoss is going to be completely upgraded. There will be nothing more for him to get. He's even getting Gravitic Boosters now. And getting a Warp Prism out. Like, that's where we're at. We've got Nukes making. Yes, we have Nukes making. Incredible. What more is there to say? Like right now, not a great deal is happening. Both of these players just getting absolutely every single upgrade possibly available to them. And now, finally, Jimmy is going to attack with a small bio force. He's going to try and take down this base. But at this point, it's less about shutting down economy and more about uh, just one straight up engagement that is going to decide this game. This is a nice attack, though. Randy is going to lose some probes from this. And now Jimmy is just going to pick up those units and fly them away. Leaves three Marauders behind to die. Those poor, poor Marauders. Lost, but not forgotten. So now we have a ton of Medoaks flying out here. With not that many units in them. We have a fleet of Observers moving out on the map. We have four Observers right now. Just moving around as a group, that's a really bad idea. One scan can leave you four observers. And now all the meta acts go down. Oh, holy crap! A ton of feedbacks destroy those meta acts. And once again, we are in a stalemate position. This is going to come down to one big engagement. That's literally going to be it. Look at that battle cruiser fireman. That is scary. Let's take a look at the unit counting station. We have six Vikings, four Marines, one Newt, eight battle cruisers, and ten Ghosts. To 24 Zealots, 2 Colossi, 19 Stalkers, 1 Warp Prism, 9 High Templar, well, now 5 High Templar, 3 Archons, and a Mothership. So, mmm, this is going to be difficult. If any of you watched the GSL Finals between Squirtle and MVP, you'll know how devastating a good Vortex Archon toilet can be on a huge clump of battle cruisers. It's as, it works as well as it does against Broodlords. But we have that ship armor level 3 on the way now, so that is going to be the full upgrades available for all of Jimmy's units as well as Randy's. It's literally a question of whoever controls the best in this one huge fight that we are going to have. Drop play is not going to cut it anymore. It is going to be down to just one knockdown, drag out fight. Oh, another Viking going to snipe the mothership. That would be huge. But we've got Ghost now taking hits from Zealots. Oh, the Vikings all get Vortex to save that mothership. Throwing an Archon in there to just destroy them as they pop. We're going to watch this. The second Archon goes in. All of these Vikings are going to die because the Stalkers are here as well. And there we go. Bye-bye, Vikings. None escape. And this mothership is still alive. It's regenerating its shields, but it did lose some health. And that could be a problem because he does not want to lose that. It takes a ton of time to build, even with Chrono Boost. I should decide how I'm going to say that. I keep switching between Chrono Boost and Chrono Boost. I should just pick one and stick with it. But we have a ton of battle creatures here. Man, this is insane. This is such a good game one. And there goes the Yamato Cannon. See you later. Man, he could just push in with these battle cruisers and start picking off units here. Like, there's nothing to stop him. There's one High Templar at the moment. Because he doesn't want to get them out of position. And now Randy is going to try and sneak around. He gets caught a little bit on that centre tower, though. He's seen by the Zelnaga. Jimmy knows it's coming. And now doing nice damage with these battle cruisers as well. 
too many planetary fortresses here for Randy to attack into at the moment. Yamato Cannon goes down. See you later, Archon. Man, if Yamato Cannon start hitting that mothership, that is going to die a gruesome, gruesome death. Here we go. One goes trying to move in, but there is a cannon on the way. Oh, nuke. Nuke, 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 nuke. Two more ghost cannons going down for extra nuking power. Oh my god, is Randy going to move into it? For a second, I thought Randy was moving his entire army into the nuke. As it is, not going to happen now. One cannon does go down. And Randy got very funky there. Here we go, another huge engagement going on. The ghost being taken down by the Colossus, but the Battle Cruiser is doing so much damage to the Stalkers. That's what he needs to take down. Once all the Stalkers are gone, there's just nothing left for this army to fight the Battle Cruisers. And ah, oh, the Mothership is here. The Mothership is going to die. He needs the Yamato Cannon. He's got him. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Bam! See you later, Mothership. Now, the Vortex does go down, but I don't think there were enough Archons there. He has five Archons morphing. But it's going to be too late to get them into the mothership. That's where, uh, get them into the vortex rather. That's where he wants them. They're going to make it. They're going to make it. No, the battle cruiser right. He needs to split them. Split your battle cruisers, Jimmy. Split your battle cruiser before the AOE hits them all. But here we go. He has too much DPS. All the archons died. The stalkers are going down now. Jimmy is absolutely nailing it. These battle cruisers are just tearing Randy apart. And he's going to move forward. Randy's got nothing here to fight. It's just Salads and Colossi. We have a couple of cannons, some stalkers, but Yamato's hitting everything. Oh my god, I think Jimmy has got enough to do this now. He's at 180 supply against 117 of Randy. Jimmy is breaking through this Protoss army, I told you. It was about that one last engagement. We have a group of zealots coming in now, but it's no use. There's planetary fortresses here. They cannot attack into that. They will all die. There's planetary fortresses here. Jimmy is about to take this game from Randy. Taking down the bases. Randy has just got nothing left. He's trying to morph more Archons, but there's six more battle cruisers on the way. The zealots are in this base, but the battle cruisers are here taking them down. That is going to be it, ladies and gentlemen. That is all she wrote. Jimmy up at 200 supply. Randy down at 125. And Jimmy, man, just backing off. What is the deal? Go in and kill him. Jimmy has the units to do it. I mean, fair enough play it, playing safe here. There are a lot of high Templars here, so it does behoove him to perhaps move back and just regroup his army. But that is a ton of battle cruisers. Let's see what we've got. We've got three nukes, man. 17 battle cruisers. That's pretty much the entire army. He's just going, oh, look at this. Repairing all of the battle cruisers. Once they are repaired, I imagine he will just go out and kill Randy. He wants to get out before that mothership returns, though. That's going to be uh, a big thing for me. Oh, even killing zealots now with SCVs. Incredible. <laughs> like, oh, that armor and shields is so hard. The SCVs take forever to kill it, but they do kill them. Jimmy just trying to free up some supply now. With these SCVs dying, he is able to make more and more units. Now if that mothership gets out and he gets a really good vortex on, this could be dangerous. But as it is, these Archons are oh, 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 being destroyed. Nice defense there from Jimmy. Jimmy has the bases. Jimmy has the economy. Randy is not even mining anymore. He's long distance mining from that. He's got this one up, but that is it. There is nothing else going on. Luckily for Randy, he has a huge bank, so he's able to keep reproducing these units, but it's not going to last very well. And a fantastic EMP takes out all the High Templar energy, so these battle cruisers are just going to Yamato Cannon the crap out of the Archons and everything else. Look at this. Archons doing a lot of damage, but it's not enough. Battle cruisers are just going to take everything down. He needs to focus on these Archons first and foremost, rather than the Stalkers. Needs slightly better control here from Jimmy, perhaps. But here we go, the Archons are now going to go down, and that is going to be it for Randy, I'm afraid. Randy cannot hold against the might of Team Carnage. We have Ghost on the way, we have more Battle Cruisers. So there you go, late game TVP, what you need is to go Battle Cruiser Ghost. And then kill the Simulator instead of the Colossal that's killing a Ghost, but never mind. 
Here we go, that Colossus cannot escape. The probes are dying. Jimmy has got this. That leaves a total of one proper mining base now for Randy. And that's not going to be enough. He's going to run out of money very, very shortly. Trying to remake units. In fact, right now he's not remaking anything. The Colossus dies. We have a probe and a pylon here that's not going to do anything. Nukes going down at the front of this base. Once this base dies, that is game. Holy crap, we have two nukes going down. Ah, oh, hit something. Oh, Randy. Oh, if Randy had kept his army there, but he does kill that ghost. Oh, no. Oh, he does catch the second ghost. What a shame. The mothership is out now, though. That is a good vortex. He could have done with taking down all the battle cruisers. But Jimmy had them spread enough that he can kill the mothership. Now, if, if Randy could just take down the last of these battle cruisers. And wow, that was a wonderful feedback. Good storms there, but is it going to be enough? Can Randy hold? His supply is dwindling. I just don't think it's going to happen, I'm afraid, for Randy. But of course, that's great news for Team Carnage, as Jimmy is going to keep destroying this base. Once this base is gone, that's game. In fact, Randy on a last-ditch attack now. We do not have punching fortresses up here yet. And there are not enough SCVs doing repairs on them so that they will finish. Here we go, cancels it, lifts, and now the battle cruisers are just going to come down and take all these zealots out. Randy is doing everything he can to hold on. He does not want to lose game one, but his bank is dwindling. He's under 800 minerals now from over 4,000. And there's the GG! Team Carnage goes 1 0 up as Jimmy beats Randy in game one on GSL's Daybreak. Whew! That was incredible. That's one of the best replays I have had the pleasure of casting in a very long time so game one is over I am off to record game two and I'll see you again shortly thank you very much for